When you think of a Disney film, you probably envision wholesome children's movies that are fun for the whole family to watch. The vivid animation, lovable characters, bright colors, and the catchy soundtracks make Disney films some of the most entertaining movies of all time. Although the films are geared towards children, there are secret innuendos and inappropriate adult jokes hidden within some of our favorite scenes. 10 Hidden Adult Jokes in Disney Movies Aladdin and the King of Thieves When Disney's 1996 film Aladdin and the King of Thieves debuted, you may not have been old enough to catch this sexual joke that caused many parents to raise their eyebrows. During Aladdin and Jasmine's wedding scene, an earthquake occurs. Genie mutters under his breath, I thought the earth wasn't supposed to move until after the honeymoon. To a kid, this one-liner would definitely fly over their head, but for adults, Genie's reference to consummating the marriage is anything but kid-friendly. Friendly. Bambi The classic film Bambi is one of the first cases of Disney testing the waters with an inappropriate adult joke. In this scene, Flower gets his very first kiss. Immediately after locking lips, his whole body becomes stiff as a board, and he swells up with blood. In other words, Flower was one of the first cartoon characters to experience an erection on the big screen. Hercules Disney really pulled a fast one on us during this scene in Hercules. If you fell asleep during literature class, you may not have recognized this reference to the classic Greek tragedy, Oedipus. The mythical king had a sexual attraction towards his mother, resulting in an incestual relationship. In the Disney film, Hercules leaves the theater and makes the comment, that Oedipus thing? Man, I thought I had problems. Leave it to Disney to make incest a laughing matter. Cars In Disney's movie Cars, Lightning McQueen is approached by two of his biggest fans or shall we call them groupies? Either way, the female cars ride up to Lightning and flash him their headlights. Since cars don't have nipples, the next best thing would be for the girls to flash their headlights, right? The inappropriate innuendo is so subtle it didn't even cause a stir when the film debuted back in 2006. The Emperor's New Groove Disney didn't try too hard to hide this naughty adult joke in a scene from The Emperor's New Groove. Kronk is sleeping in the great outdoors and there's a tent covering his manhood. That's right, he pitched a tent right there in front of hundreds of thousands of moviegoers. Disney never shies away from a good penis joke, but we can't help but think they went a little too far this time around. Toy Story 3 Disney was able to sneak in a naughty fellatio joke in a scene from Toy Story 3. During the scene, Lotso gets tired of listening to Miss Potato Head talk, so he snatches the lips right off her face. Mr. Potato Head is livid and shouts out, No one takes my wife's mouth but me. We don't know what's worse, envisioning the Potato Heads getting intimate or Disney execs thinking this joke was A-OK -okay for a children's movie. Cars 2 In Cars 2, the villains of the film are called the Lemons. They're the dumpy, clunky vehicles that no one else wants. They're so jealous of the shiny, beautiful cars that they plan to do whatever it takes to bring them down. When they feel they have succeeded in wreaking havoc on the cars, they decide to throw a party. A lemon party to be exact. If you've never heard the term lemon party, consider yourself lucky. But if you're really curious, Google the not safe for work term in your free time to understand this blatant and very inappropriate adult joke. Wreck-It Ralph Disney may have really crossed the line this time, but thankfully, not too many moviegoers came out in flocks to watch this film. In a scene from Wreck-It Ralph, Ralph makes back-to-back -back sexual innuendos that would make any parent cringe. While working himself into a tizzy, after finding out Pac-Man was invited to his video game's 30th anniversary party, Ralph shouts, Pac-Man? They invited Pac-Man? That cherry-chasing dot muncher isn't even on this game. In case you're unaware, a cherry chaser is defined as someone who likes to take young girls' virginity, and a dot muncher? Well, let's just say Ralph is convinced Pac-Man is a fan of going downtown. Muppet Treasure Island even back in the mid-90s, Disney was on a roll with its hidden adult jokes and sexual innuendos. In the 1996 film Muppet Treasure Island, Miss Piggy has a new man and he just happens to be a pirate. Miss Piggy explains her new relationship to Kermit as, He was a pirate, I was a lady, you know the story. The story has a lot to do with the history involving real-life pirates hooking up with women, but the sexual liaisons were anything but consensual. In other words, Disney execs tossed in a reference to rape in a children's film. We can't say that we're surprised. Frozen One of the most popular Disney films of all time contains a sexual joke that's equal parts hilarious and cringeworthy. In the movie Frozen, Kristoff is quizzing Anna to see how much she knows about him. When he asks her about his foot size, Anna replies, foot size doesn't matter. Do you get it? Anna was basically letting her man know that the size of his manhood isn't an issue for her. Now that's what we call true love.
There are 10 Disney scenes that would be banned today. Pinocchio. First there was lime, and then came good old cigar smoke. This is taking a whole new level for the puppet's famous tune. I've got no strings to hold me down. The message you can conclude from this Pinocchio is smoke, lie, and accept no responsibilities. Perhaps our moral of this entry is to think twice before exposing this type of content to kids. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Here's another old-time favorite involving a crime-solving storyline. Let's face it, how could we forget the Angelina Jolie-esque character Jessica Rabbit? The lady in red has been characterized to have an even fiercer attitude than women like Beyonce or Kim Kardashian. Who would have thought the cartoon character would have so much prowess? But looking back, do you remember something missing in this scene? Yes, that would definitely be her underwear in this image. Talk about an animated scandal. Mulan. There is nothing more riveting than seeing our kick-ass warrior Mulan prove that women are unstoppable, no matter what society says. But even heroines succumb to uncomfortable situations that lead to the oversexualization women have to experience on a frequent basis. In fact, in this situation, Mulan ends up in an awkward scenario where her own companion, Mushu, makes an inappropriate comment. My powers are beyond your mortal imagination, he says. For instance, my eyes can see straight through your armor. That was a discussion that had no reason to be applied to the movie, especially if this was a movie that recognized female empowerment. Toy Story. Remember that really aggressive kid from Toy Story, Sid? That's right, Andy's neighbor, who is the only one who claims a toys can talk. Well, one of his memorable works of art involved a pair of sexy legs attached to a hook. In other words, a hooker. This sounds more borderline creepy and uncomfortable for adults to watch with their children. Perhaps the toy should have been given a second thought, as there's a time and a place for everything. Monsters, Inc. In this Monsters, Inc. scene, here's a little scandal that took awkward to a whole new level. Here you have an adorable and furry Sully waiting to spook a child. What can be perceived as even stranger is if you take a closer look to find the drawing right beside the doorway. Are you thinking what we're thinking? That is correct. The child's Uncle Roger and Mummy are both in a very compromising position. There's no easy way out of this one, ladies and gentlemen, especially for those two. The Little Mermaid Here's our favorite Little Mermaid, hanging out in pure human form, acting as natural as she can. But really, if Ariel wanted to be a part of the human world, she wouldn't have needed to smoke a pipe. The fish out of water misrepresents what it's like to be human, and gives kids the wrong idea on how to fit in. Besides, wasn't she looking forward to long walks on the beach and reading? That definitely took a turn. We wonder what her dear friend Sebastian would have said. Fantasia. This musical film came out in the 1940s and was praised for the orchestral efforts from the Philadelphia Orchestra. However, there was also criticism due to the controversy evoked in certain scenes throughout the storylines. The creators used a dark skinned Sontret to be servant of the white Sontret, insinuating racial stereotypes. In the 21st century, scenes like this are not okay, especially since it encourages discrimination. Even more reason to be shocked, slavery was abolished on December 18, 1865 in America. It's almost as if these efforts were completely forgotten, and the writers had missed the memo. Cinderella The Disney princess that little girls grow up to be in hopes to find their prince charming one day. However, this fairy tale involves a scene that doesn't look so charming at all. Notice that Jack is pulling large pearls out of Gus's backside? There's no problem with the idea of exploring your sexuality and keeping things interesting in the bedroom. But aren't kids a bit too young to witness that kind of behavior, especially when it involves cute talking mice? Alice in Wonderland Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland was brought to life on the screen by Disney in 1951. However, theories have been made that Alice in Wonderland was a story to depict drug use and its effect through Carroll's eyes. One may identify and support such a theory during Alice's tea party with the Mad Hatter. After having copious amounts of sugar, Alice then experiences a rush that is associated with hallucinations caused by drug consumption. Even though kids might not realize it, parents did. Hercules To end on a comedic note, consider us lucky for getting the joke from Hercules, even if we know it's actually inappropriate for our kids to be exposed to. In this scene, after a mythological centaur gets bumped on the head, the injury takes form of a phallic object emphasized around the horseshoe. Looks like the illustrator was having a little too much fun, or rather, a whole lot of it. 10 Shocking Disney Princess Controversies
Cinderella. Cinderella is a classic female stereotype. She spends all of her time doing housework and chores and is essentially helpless relying on Prince Charming to save her. Instead of working for her freedom, she expects a man to do everything for her and in the end becomes a princess through marriage. The prince also only pays attention to her when she's made up in a stunning gown. Looks are clearly all that matter. Aurora. Like many Disney princesses, Aurora from the Sleeping Beauty must be saved by a prince. She's pretty much helpless the whole time, unconscious and in a death-like sleep until the prince fights off the villain and comes to her rescue. People have also argued that the kiss that saves her wasn't consensual. In the original Brothers Grimm story, Aurora is actually raped while sleeping and wakes up with kids. It's not a surprise that that didn't end up in the Disney version. Twisted. Ariel. In The Little Mermaid, Ariel gives up her beautiful voice just to be able to go find a man, and she gets the guy without even speaking to him. Basically, Eric falls for her just for her looks, which is sending a screwed up message to young girls. She also ends up leaving her life and family under the sea for his life on land, an example of how women are often expected to change or give up their lives to follow their husbands. Tiana in 2009, Disney presented an African-American heroine for the first time in its history, and although The Princess and the Frog garnered some positive reviews, it didn't escape unscathed. For one thing, Tiana's prince had an ambiguous name, not to mention skin color. The film was also set in New Orleans, which is home to a large black community and had an overlying voodoo theme, which didn't sit well with viewers. Alice. While Alice may not be a Disney princess per se, Alice in Wonderland still raised loads of critique with drug references flying throughout the entire movie. Alice is shown eating mushrooms and shrinking from big to small, which is seen as referencing the highs and lows of drug use, while the Mad Hatter runs around frantically like he's under the influence of drugs. And then, of course, there is the caterpillar who is always smoking a hookah pipe. Snow White Snow White and the Seven Dwarves didn't sit well with feminists. Snow's first instinct is to clean after stumbling into the dwarves cabin, making scrubbing and chores seem extremely pleasant. Critics were also quick to judge and accuse Snow of polygamy. After all, she is a woman living with seven members of the opposite sex. The Princess of North Sudan The film hasn't even been released yet, and already Disney's attracted tons of flack from The Princess of North Sudan. The film tells the true story of a man from Virginia who traveled to Sudan and Egypt to claim land so that his daughter could be a princess. So basically, Disney's first African princess is a white girl, and people are not happy. Belle Belle's being held against her will as the Beast's prisoner. Sure, she volunteered to take her father's place, but she's still in prison and the Beast is her captor. They end up falling in love in the end, which has garnered multiple red flags. Critics have related their relationship to Stockholm Syndrome, where victims end up falling in love with the people holding them captive, in order to keep from losing their grip on things. Pocahontas as Disney's second non-white leading lady, the animation conglomerate thought it deserved a round of applause for Pocahontas. But the story strayed too far from its true historical path, which had Native American groups in a tizzy. In reality, Pocahontas and John Smith had more of a father-daughter relationship, whereas the movie portrays him as her romantic interest. People also weren't impressed by the portrayal of Native Americans who are shown to be wild and completely at one with nature, even talking to trees and animals. Jasmine. Princess Jasmine is supposed to be of Arab descent, but her features say otherwise. Critics have complained that her light skin and facial features don't reflect her background, claiming that Arab people typically have darker skin and different noses. On top of that, there is the issue of her belly-bearing outfit, which is seen as sexualizing Middle Eastern women, race fetish issues brought to light by animation. Got any Disney movie moments you think should be banned? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to The Taco.